Do you see the plane route? It is from 1 to 7 o'clock or 135, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> it's 135 right now in the server. As you see by the clock. Again, the plane similarly going through military base. It's the place to be, because why not? And this looks so beautiful. Everyone just kind of spreading out like that. It's harmony. But it looks like we do just have one squad going to military base. Another squad going towards Primorsk right now. Team ESA heading towards Ferry Pier. They should be able to spot... Uh, Gucci Pants and his squad, which Gucci is Pants. team. Mm. Give me, give me a few, uh, few weeks to learn these guys' names and their. How about the this? Team How about by next guys? week? I think you're gonna already have it. By I'm, next I'm week, I'm putting pressure on you. That you're is gonna so have it by hard, man. You got this. I believe in you. <laughs> All you gotta do is, is sit on the toilet for about 20 minutes, get this piece of paper out, minutes? and mem you know, sometimes you gotta take care of business, and then just memorize everyone's name, and you'll be good. Okay. I once oh, read a whole book on the toilet. That's weird, isn't it? it? Took me a month. Every day. A little too much info. Too much. Sorry. You went a little too deep again. <laughs> I went a little too You're deep. You're digging deep every time. But it <laughs> looks like we do have two squads in Pachinki. We have Maturino accompanied with... All right. With... Um, and I got to learn these names, man. <laughs> you got it. You'll do it. I promise you will. And look with at this the young circle. Tuna, with the Young Tuna and Creamy Beats who are a part of... EMX. 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 EMX, EMX Creamy man. Beats. Creamy Beats. EMX, right? Creamy, creamy be Beats. Creamy EMX. EMX, dude. Creamy. Creamy Max. <laughs> creamy Beats. I like it. I love the name. And, uh, but it looks like we got Maturino and EMX and Pachinki. I feel like Maturino did call out that they saw EMX on the other side. That's why they're all camping inside the buildings with their guns out. But it looks like EMX... Are, are they just looting the outskirts of Puchinki? They're trying to stay together, you know, get some guns, make sure that their backs are covered, their eyes are dots, their T's are crossed. You know, you got to uh, you got to cover each other in these situations, especially if multiple teams have dropped in the same city. Uh, the last thing you want to do is get caught off guard and killed without any kill exchanges. You see right here in the circle, it looks like it's going to be a military island circle. It is southwest of the map, more south, southwest, what do you want to say? So, I mean, it could stop in Primorsk, but most likely it's going to be west of Sosnovka Island. Sosnovka. Great pronunciation. Right My there. Russian is really bad. It's so beautiful. Please don't judge me. But Matrino definitely spotted... EMX, because they're just still hiding in the buildings. We saw the rat looking through the window at a building that EMX was previously inside. But from here, we'll see what happens. Let's see if they will start to gauge, get out of their buildings and fight, because everybody, both squads in Pachinki, do have ARs that can win them the duel and claim Pachinki to themselves. That's why we the put king two of times. That's why we put two times out, assault rifles, because we want everyone to have a chance of Having a rifle. It's the worst feeling when you're trying to out-snipe someone with a submachine gun and they have a rifle. It's not a fun game. It's not fun when that happens. You see Insidia, huh? Part of Team HTC. I remember that. There you go. You're learning already, Josh. I think you're catching Easy. on faster than you think you would. Easy. Couple weeks. <laughs> Tomorrow night. With... Approaching Team Astro, I remember that team too with Harbor and TTT. Harbor is crossing the streets. Let's see oh, if City does spot him. He does see him. He definitely does. He does take the shots. Harbor does get lucky and runs into the building because he does only have a 12 gauge. So that gives away his position though. And so now Astro knows that HTC is just kind of uh, chilling out over there and just uh, gives away their position and with a Mac, Mac 10, <laughs> Uzi. Uh, he's going to try to close the distance because uh, Uzi is not great for mid to long range fire. You want to get up close and personal. See the white of their eyes. But you can see that good for you is just on the other side of Harbor right now. And Harbor does have the 12 gauge and he is he needs to be calling to his teammates right now to come help him because there are three players from Oh, and he does get knocked down by good for you because three players from HDC were pinching Harbor. And now it's really up to hot Sriracha, Skeleton and TTT to hopefully edge avenge their teammates or just keep looting all of Milta to themselves because they do have advantage most likely with loot. 
while HDC is just looting one body who only had a shotgun. So now we got just Takul's healing up, looting, um, looting Harbor who was just killed, and right now we got. God, Sriracha there. It's, it's just, to, yeah. to make his way to his teammate. You know, close the gap a little bit. Use the number game. You see three of the members. Uh, I don't believe they had four to begin with, so maybe they just... Do they have four? I thought they had four earlier. Uh, Haber. Is he already taken out? Is he already dead? Yeah, Haber was dead. He, was he, he got pinched by three players from HCC. Oh, okay, so he gets taken out, leaving Astro with three people. They're going to get in a vehicle and... and repositioning themselves. You see a hot Sriracha here. He's going to drive away. Um, are they going to keep looting Milta or they might go towards maybe more of the circle here. Yeah, they're kind of out of the circle as you see. They're kind of driving away north of Milta. And so uh, with a lot of time left on the map, especially with a military circle, the bridges, the water, are death traps getting through this area. So, uh, Earlier, the better usually, because in the early game, people are looting and, and whatnot. So that's uh, something to take in note there. A little strategy. <laughs> <laughs> with 10 seconds left, <laughs> the, the circle is starting to close in. Uh, it will start to close in here soon. First circle of the game, it usually takes a couple minutes for it to reach its destination. So it looks like right now, Stantheon is approaching Team ESA. ESA doesn't know that there is a group on the east of them right now, up the hill. Maybe Stev Lawson and Hassan will get caught off guard by Stantheon, who is part of Team... Give me a second. You got this. I believe in Give you. Give me a second. I believe in you. I can't, I Hyper can't find XB. it. Hyper XB. Hyper <laughs> XB. There's three Hyper X teams. That sounds like it's cheating. How many teams can you have? But you know what? The more the merrier. We welcome it. If you have a lot of players in your company, we encourage it. Because we're all gamers here ourselves. Yeah, so it looks like Stev and Halfman did have a car at this compound that Team HyperXB was at. So now all, all HyperXB can do from this point is just keep moving on. Hopefully you can find another compound that hasn't been looted. You see here Stev and, and Half Sam going to try to maximize their looting range. And the circle is still not in the blue yet, so they do have uh, probably about 30 to 40 seconds to loot anything out here, so kind of a risk to do that. But again, just trying to find as much as possible here. But going on the other side of the map right now, we got Toxic Gnome in a 1v4 situation against Astro. As Astro did, one of their players did get knocked down. Actually, I believe one of their players did get killed by Toxic Gnome who is on the second floor by himself of the building. And we can see right now that he's just playing and holding the stairs right now. Toxic Gnome just waiting, hopefully, hoping that Team Astro will approach him. With a shotgun on the top of staircase, that should be a guaranteed one knockdown for Toxic. I wonder if I wonder if Astro is a little scared right now. They feel like I look I feel like they're just trying to peek windows and try to get information. Not knowing where the other teammates of Toxic Gnome is, but they don't know that Toxic is by himself. So Toxic's just playing patiently. As you can see, just holding a shotgun. Just trying to look inside his brain right there. Yeah, trying exactly. to see what he's thinking there. Have to. This isn't scanners. You can't do that. Have you even seen that movie? It's way beyond your time. Thanks, man. What, <laughs> it's like late 80s? Late 80s, early 90s? But it looks like right now... Were you even born then? No, I wasn't. <laughs> Astro is just still just roaming around the first floor of their building, trying to get more information, just jiggle peeking everything, hoping that somebody, hopefully, hoping that Toxic will peek the window and get he's a headshot. He's not budging, though. He's going to play it super safe. He's Definitely like, not. Be, go, 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 guys, come up these stairs. I dare you. I dare you to walk up here because I got a shotgun. Do not, I repeat, do not sleep on the shotgun in this game. It is ridiculous sometimes and a little overpowered. Yeah. I feel like they're just playing very safe, knowing that this is the final match of the evening. But it looks like TTT did just e exit out of the garage, peeking. Nope, he ran back in. He doesn't want to take the risk, not knowing how many players are out there. But unfortunately, they don't know that there's only one by himself, because that could just be an easy 3v1 pinch right now. But as you can see, they do have a Dacia, so 
when the next white spawns, they can still play this house and just use the next the dossier to drive into the next white. Toxic Gnome hasn't moved a bit. He is still holding the same angle, <laughs> not letting go. And so, you know, I'm going to let him sit out the house. We got Team Monster Cat here. Um, just kind of uh, hanging out in this little little area right here. Just just trying to make something happen. But again, they're in the circle. They're probably going to wait till once the blue hits the white. Uh, they're definitely going to try to plan their next form of attack. Well, you know, either do we go straight in the circle? Do we play the edge game? Do we play the edge game where you're trying to kill people trying to come in the circle? There's a lot of couple different scenarios and, and strategies you can uh, do in this game. And I've never seen that zebra painting before. That's interesting. But going over to Fairy Pier, we have two squads that I do believe know that they're both inside this compound. We got both of them, all, both squads grouped up in each house. We got Move 53 advancing from the house. Uh, we got Mar knocked down by Stanton, who is still aggressing right now, playing very aggressive with the Scar 9. Scar 90. I got. I, yeah, I, yeah, I said it too. I said it too. We got, <laughs> we got Stanton <laughs> aggressing with the Scar L. Fully auto. We got Delirious bringing up his teammate. Stanton is right outside the building, probably trying to get information for his teammates. Now we got Bethina wrapping around as well as Irvine and Papara. So now we have Stanton throwing a grenade into the second floor. The team inside is just scattering right now. We'll go over to. Yeah, so we got Hyper X, B, and N, C. A little think, civil war right now between both teams. <laughs> Irvine does get knocked down by Delirious. Delirious is advancing. They do enter the house. Stantians get knocked down as well. Delirious gets knocked down as well. Now Paparaz is just going off. Moda Mar does get knocked down by Moo53. And then Paparaz gets finished off by Moo. And it looks like it's just a big team battle inside the building. And then in the end, we got Beham just finishing off Nerdimus. Nerdimus. So it looks like, just like the Silver Move War. 53, who is part of Team Hyper XC, does beat Team Hyper XB. And that will definitely come in with some smat talk in the office. Oh, and yeah. I, I, would, I would definitely be bringing that all day. The next day. And right now, we're taking a look at Stev, Laws, and Half Sand. We saw them go out way out to the west coast here b by the water. Now they're going to get some boat. Uh, Trying to see what kind of items for for being the blue this long, you want to have something to come out with, maybe a suppressor, maybe a four or eight times X would be very nicely, but them yeah, taking a lot of blue damage. They're going to try to reposition themselves in the circle. As you can see, the white circle is going to be close to military island, so you have a lot of these little choke points right here, especially like Trav Piper on the bridge. As it's rendering, guys. Bear with us. There you go. Trying to shoot at the boat here in the water. Uh, not very successful. Red dot that far range is never really great. As you see them. Let's take some action. Oh, there you have a 4X. Okay. He does hit a couple shots on them, but nobody kill. And this is the weird part. If you get knocked off in a boat in this water, you automatically die. And so this is Team EM EMX, as you can tell by Creamy Beats. Remember, guys, Creaming Beats EMX. I mean, it goes hand in hand. It goes hand in hand. But other than that, they're just going to keep camping the bridge. It's very beneficial at this point again, because, again, people have to cross this to get into Military Island. So they have at least one, two, three, almost four groups, possibly. If they take the bridge, a lot of loot, a lot of kills can be done by Team EMX. But looks like they're going to kind of break away from the bridge strat and maybe push towards this gas station, which is not uh, too bad of a spot. Not my first choice, but hey, you know, the choice is yours and yours alone. And I wonder, let me see a fight up here. Toxic Gnome, going to get click on him, get, as if you're new to PUBG. The map is so large and so big with so many items and people, it takes a you know, a good five seconds for everything to render in. And then you can see everything gets loaded in. Everyone's happy. Good times. Yeah, so it looks like Toxic Gnome did kill one of the players from Astro. I think it was, um, I can't even tell you right now, but <laughs> Toxic Gnome definitely did take someone out from Astro because there, there are only two people and they are just bailing out from the comp. Compound. So now Toxic Gnome is free to make his way into the white, and he isn't that far. So 
with only a shotgun and an M4, he can. <laughs> let's see if he can make this dream come alive. <laughs> make it alive. That's that's the goal. Yeah, but well played from Toxic Gnome to just play out the game, play, wait for the next white to spawn, and just holding the building with him by himself with a shotgun and M4. And take a look at Koi Fish here. They spots a vehicle across the bridge. EMX. Just seeing the vehicle, but I don't think they're going to be taking any shots. The vehicle's going pretty fast, so maybe they're going to try to play the position game. Oh, Young Tuna gets blasted once. It looks like in the neck. And then some team killing going on. Spiffer is wondering why his health is down to 75%. Koi Fish will not admit that he shot him in the back. So you're going to have to look on the replay to find that out, my friend. <laughs> But I caught him red-handed. <laughs> <laughs> got him right there. It's like, hey, you might say no, but hey, look, I got video proof. And now it looks like EMX and them are going to reside in that little housing community near the bridge. They don't have to move just yet as the blue is closing in on the circle. Everyone's desperately trying to get in. Still pretty big spacing. Not much action so far, but I think uh, Koi Fish and them are going to try to make a move here. I believe they are, yeah, Hyper XA team, Koi Fish, going against EMX. Uh, luckily, looks like they're not going to advance too quickly. Maybe uh, look behind them first, make sure that they're not getting flanked. They don't spot anyone else coming up on them. And then when they're absolutely sure that no one's going to flank them, Move up on them, maybe. Maybe shoot out some tires, make it very difficult for them to travel long distance. I guess I, I, I'm pretty sure both teams are waiting for the the white circle, see mm -hmm. where it's going to land next. Yeah, all teams right now are playing really safe because they all have their own compound, and we got a team right now, or two teams, uh, playing in the river, just waiting. Three teams, actually, playing in the water and the ocean, and they're just waiting for the next white to spawn right now. So everybody's kind of just playing slow, not taking more gunfights, not giving away their position. But it looks like Final Mirage and his team are approaching another squad who are playing near the coast. Um, Final Mirage is part of team, <laughs> uh, team <laughs> the, ner it. the nerdery, the the nerdery. <laughs> the nerdery. Yeah. What are the nerdery? What who who but they, are? But they but they already starting taking shots from Gucci Pants and his squad up on the hill of the cliff, and it looks like they will have the advantage. The High second ground. they get out of the water, yeah, the second they get out of the water, they're all gonna die. Um, it's just unfortunate timing. They didn't know that this team was up here on the hill. No vert, not vert is throwing some nades. Hopefully, we'll blow some people out of the water. Gucci plants, Gucci pants has dropped down from the cliff, approaching the shore, hoping that the three players in the ocean will pop their heads up, and that'll be easy mow down with that ump. And one thing to take note: uh, obviously, in this game, shooting through water is pretty non-existent. So, in order to kill people in water, you have to throw grenades or maybe hit their heads when they go up for some air. So it's very difficult, very inefficient to... Jacob drowned. To even, to, sh to even shoot at people. You actually do more harm to yourself, giving away your position, than you do actually trying to kill people in water. So uh, I guess the best bet is to kind of just hold their exit point, make sure that um, as soon as they get out, they either die in the blue in the water, or they come out and then you kill them. So uh, it depends what strategy you want to work with. But with no vehicle... They're going to have to run a couple hundred meters to get in the white. They still have a minute, so plenty of time for Team Amazon Game Studios. Yeah, Amazon Game Studios Team A. Again, everyone's gamers. If you're in the gaming industry, you're probably a gamer. No, it looks like right now are. that HTC have approached the crate. Let's see. It looks like Good For You did pick up an uh, what, M249. Is it? Let me see. I didn't, I didn't take a look. I wasn't looking over yeah. there. So he got the N249, fully automatic, 100 rounds. Put a red dot on that baby. No recoil. That's I think that's it's underrated. I think M249 is super underrated. Oh, that thing it is nuts. Shreds vehicles. 100 bullet clip. What more can you ask for? You don't need to reload. If you need to reload, you're, you're just doing missing. Something, you're doing something wrong if you have to reload. <laughs> <laughs> but luckily for them, they did get that gun, and they do still have four alive. So, with that being said, they should be able to win the next team fight they engage. Take a look at Team EM EMX, Trav Piper. Uh, spotting some people out in the 
out across the bridge and with the white circle coming close these teams have to cross as you see adults dig are, are, are trying to swim across because it's a little safer than going through the bridge and that would be team Amazon Game Studios team B a mouthful right there so Trav Piper EMX team EMX have a huge advantage uh, for those people trying to cross and so it's up to them to mess this up but they don't quite know how close Team Amazon B is is coming up on the shore so there's going to be a small timing window where if EMX is not looking there they can kind of sneak up towards land which could be the case here and so luckily for Team Amazon B they're not going to get picked off this early as was it EMX over there? Wait, who's that guy? Trav Viper. I think I just made a mistake right there. No, that's EMX. Who's the who's Team 7? Who's way up there? Jake at ESPL. That's Esports Performance Lab. One of those guys. Adults being taken out by Creamy Beats. Again, see, that's the dangerous about, you know, trying to cross into Military Island. No vehicles you coming up out of the out of the shoreline. No cover, no trees, no rocks. You're exposed. And that's the thing you do not want to be in this game is exposed because you'll get taken out. Anyone can, can hit these shots at this level. Let's bring it over here where we have team, I think HyperX team, team A right now fighting against HDC who just made it out of the blue. They're all using trees right now for cover. We got good for you. Not still in the blue, but desperate just to not take any more bullet shot. He heals. And now he's going to make his way into the white with Team uh, Hyper XA just holding them, waiting for them to push. And then from the back, you, you see Toxic Gnome that he does have a chance to push. Good for you, does get out of the blue and into the white, but does get immediately knocked down by I Am John. And now we got Insidian knocked out by, by uh, Z-Zone. So now we got Andrew and Tekuls just trying to make their way out. And looks like Tekuls is trying to actually res or bring back up Insidia. And he is taking more shots by Hyper XA. And with one HP with one HP left, he gets knocked down by Zizun by Car 98. Zizun is just hitting shots with that sniper, and now it's really up to Andrew at the end with an AK-47 and the tree. But let's see if he can land any headshots and anything, just to knock down a player so he can get out of the. Oh, and then he, <laughs> I, I couldn't even say anything. Like he was in such a bad position, it yeah. was just unfortunate, and that was just really timing for yeah. HTC. It's pretty unfortunate to get in that spot where you're your backs to the blue and all mm -hmm. your exiting, you know, spots that you want to go to is being covered by the other team. At that point, you just got to get headshots at that point. But right now, it looks like Team ESA is making their way into the white, not knowing that there is a squad right to the south of them up the hill with conformist policed. And I wonder if Monster Cat will spot him right now running on the road. I think Stev Lawson did spot him. Um, I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, because Shimona Hay got knocked down by L Full J. So Stev is trying to play aggressive by rapping hard. And then looks like Conformist Police does ex uh, expect that to happen. Stev creeping up with his smoke grenade, pulling out his nade. He throws it. Conformist Police has the drop on Stev with his nade out. Conformist Police pulls out the M4. Didn't take a shot. Steph Stev spotted him. him. Yeah, Stev him. spotted him. And now he's pulling out. He's going to fight right now. Conformist behind the rock does get tagged relatively hard by Stev Lawson. Stev Lawson does take the does take you know the advantage of n lowering conformist health and falling back and using cover to heal nice, so now Steph nice throws another nade with juice getting knocked out it is an even 3v3 conformist does peek out had the opportunity to hit Steph Steph is in the blue both teams are in the blue now they both got to make their way in Manus Mo with no HP Steph is playing solo by taking the bike and saying see you later to the rest <laughs> of team he, is team to he doesn't care he's playing for placements <laughs> that's what I'm talking about that's individual <laughs> plays right now it's so, he just leaves you know I always, I always play leave no man behind but that does not apply to Steph he wants he to win care. he doesn't care Leave his team out in trouble. Conformist police in huge trouble because the blue is going to be chunking so much damage. So maybe actually a smart play by Stev in hindsight as the rest of the team is going to be taking so much damage. Oh my goodness, this time of day, the blue is devastating. Yeah, and unfortunately for J-Ran, their vehicle did crash into the wall, letting Trav Piper and his squad, Vincent, oh no, no, no not Vincent, um, not Trav Piper, it was Vincent, Mitty, and Hoss are just spraying them down when they jumped out of the car. So that was just really unfortunate that they hit the broken wall. 
and that was an instant kill for that white uh, for that squad. Yeah, look at Steph staying alive, <laughs> just making sure he just got outside in that white circle, uh, playing just for points. I mean, it's it's up to ESA to to really lose this one with getting first and second place. They're in a good spot to take the first win of the first match of you know overtime series. But looks like we got Koi Fish right now in a 1v1 against Jamba. And Jamba with the Groza, who will win this duel right now? And it looks like Jamba does win the fight between Koi Fish. And now Jamba couldn't bring up his only teammate left inside melee base. And now we got Mart getting pinched by Vincent and the team. But at least they're in the white now. So hopefully they could find some cover. But they're out, they are out in the field just trying to make their way into possibly the planes or just into military base. Now, this is a very difficult spot uh, of the final circles in the game. There's a lot of open field, very flat lands, and it's just very difficult to move from one place to the other. And so this would be one of the perfect idea, uh, p perfect times to have, you know, more than two vehicles to, you know, if the circle's not in your favor, you could have a chance to run across anything and make something happen. It's just so difficult when, you know, at this late game, everyone might, will probably have a scope, they'll have a rifle, possibly sniper, and just, it just is just so hard, and you have to be lucky if, if you want to run across an open field like that. You see not where it just, you know, taking some shots with the 8X. Yeah, you know? and it does look like very software. They did just leave the building because it was in the blue and they have to make their way into the white now. And they're just all caught off guard out in the open. There, There's very little chance. But Mitty does have the Jeep and he is just driving straight into the white, leaving All-Star behind, pulling a step. <laughs> no, he does stop. He says, hey, come into the car. We're getting out of here. All-Star does prone to heal. And Mitty does get out with the car 98 to hopefully cover uh, All-Star while he heals. And then they'll take the UAZ and just drive out of there in this horrible situation. Yes. Victorious and Trav Piper... Just proning, using using the little cover they have, knowing that they're using they're shooting so much and attracting so much attention. See now, very taking some shots, not connecting on any of that, and is surprisingly after he takes a shot, giving away a position, he's going to try to move up and make a play here, which is actually not a bad idea. He's going to take some shots, but can he connect on the shots? Oh, it finally takes out Choppa. But guess what? He's going to keep shooting until he dies. And in the process, he's going to be taken out by one of the teammates. Skylac knocking out not Vert. And so that looks like it's going to be the end of him. Unless a teammate... Unless his teammate just runs up in the middle of everything. Not likely, though. But yeah, it looks like we got 14 left alive right now. Seven teams, guys. And we do have one solo right now, which is Gideon Fell and Stev Lawson, who are by themselves. They're just proning maybe to get some cheeky kills by doing some flanking. I think at this point, if you're by yourself, you want the other people to take them each other out. And then so you want to try to survive as late as possible, especially Stev. He's not going to risk it. He's not going to try to make plays. He's His team has been doing well these last two games. There's, there's no, it wouldn't be smart to do that. And so, But it looks like Faven is aggressing on Nover, and Nover does just get knocked out right now. So it's up to Gucci Pants right now to heal up and possibly res his teammate Notvert. But no, Gideon Fell does finish off Skylax, so now it's just Gideon Fell and it's Gucci Pants, and Gucci Pants does have the drop on him with the four times, and the Suppressor M4 finishes oh, off Gideon Fell. But at this point, the blue is coming in, and that blue is so strong right now that Gucci Pants is just going to have to play solo. So now with nine left alive, we got a few solos right now. We got TTT, who just got tons of players dying in the blue zone. With five alive now, it's up to... Gucci Pants versus Victorious Creamy Beats and Young Tuna, who is EMX versus... Who is Gucci Pants part of? Help me out, Eric. Gucci Pants is part of Amazon Game Studio... Wait a minute. No, it's not. Gucci but regardless, Pants, Gucci Pants is just prone right now in the field. He does know. It, possibly he knows that it's just 1v3. Young Tuna, J Victorious, and Creamy Beats on Team EMX... Definitely feel confident. They know there's only one left. They're jumping around, trying to spot... Where this player is hiding, just getting the trades, it should be an easy finish for them if they just aggress. As soon as they find out where Gucci is, it's just going to be a hard push from there. You can't I, stop three ARs coming at you. I have to assume that Gucci Pants is Amazon Game Studios Team A, is what I think. that He's, he's uh, yeah, so I'm going to put him on the... 
as Team A. But again, with two teams left, four alive. Gucci Pants, one on three. He's going to have to almost have a miracle to be able to win this. No health, very little stims, but he does have a suppressor. So if, as long as he takes out one person right away, the other two people are going to be scrambling around trying to figure out where the suppressed shots are coming from. And proning out in the field, Gucci Pants, uh, not really exposed yet but with eight seconds left he has to move the circles and be closing in and this is where he might have some trouble here as emx is going to capitalize on it he takes some shots and jay victorious and then finally gets taken out team emx wins the third game gucci pants scott Eric, not vert uh amazon game studios team a got second Mitty, John Cake, Hallstar, and Vincent gets third. They are Varys Software. Hot Sriracha, Keleton, Haber, TT712, Astro getting fourth, and Esports Arena getting fifth. And you can see through the other teams through six through 16th here. Moxie, is that the, uh, I don't know if that's the, the CS player, Moxie. There's a CS player that goes the uh, name of Moxie, and I'm not sure if that's the same one. But again, that's what's the beauty about this tournament. There's a lot of people invest in esports, and so it gives a little chance to have some fun, play for your company, and a little bit of bragging rights.